and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to make a lighter version of General Tso's chicken. This is an extremely popular dish on the Chinese takeout menu, but it isn't usually the best choice for someone trying to watch their weight, since the chicken is typically deep fried. But in this lightened up version, we'll oven fry the chicken to save some fat and calories. Then we'll serve it with some broccoli and rice to make this a really well-rounded dish. Alright, to make this one we'll need 1 pound of chicken breast cut into 1 inch pieces 1 egg 1 cup of gluten-free bisquick 1 tablespoon of paprika 1 teaspoon of salt 1 half teaspoon of pepper 1 tablespoon of peanut oil or vegetable oil 1 teaspoon each of ginger and garlic minced two scallions cut into one inch pieces plus a little more that's been finely chopped for garnish and three cups of broccoli florets and for the sauce we're going to need one cup of gluten-free chicken broth two teaspoons of cornstarch two tablespoons of honey two tablespoons of duck sauce two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar or white vinegar one tablespoon of soy sauce one tablespoon of Asian hot sauce, and a sprinkle of chili flakes, which are both optional. Now first, preheat the oven to 450 degrees, and line a baking sheet with foil that's been either sprayed with nonstick spray or drizzled with a little oil. In a medium bowl, stir together the bisquick, paprika, salt, and pepper. In another medium bowl, mix the chicken together with the beaten egg. Now place a few pieces of the chicken at a time into the dry mixture and toss them around to get them well coated. Then place them onto the prepared baking sheet. Repeat the process until all the chicken is coated. Then either spray them on top with nonstick spray or drizzle them with a few drops of oil and bake them for 15 to 18 minutes or until they're golden and brown. While the chicken's cooking, you should mix together the sauce. In a medium bowl, add the cornstarch to the chicken broth and mix them together until there are no lumps. Now add the honey, duck sauce, soy sauce, vinegar, hot sauce, and chili flakes. Then stir to combine and set this aside. For the broccoli, since I don't have a steamer, I just like to boil it for a few minutes so that it maintains its crispness. Then set that aside. When the chicken's done, remove it from the oven. Now in a large skillet or wok over a medium high heat, add the oil, garlic, ginger, and scallions to the pan and stir fry them for about two minutes. Now before adding the sauce, give it a good stir once more since the cornstarch has a tendency to sink to the bottom. Now add the sauce to the pan and bring it up to a boil. Watch how quickly the sauce thickens and changes color as soon as it boils. Now add the chicken to the pan and toss everything around until it's well coated. Then remove it from the heat and serve it with the broccoli and steamed rice. And you've got a fantastic meal. I garnished my plate with more scallions, some sesame seeds, and chili flakes. And this one's ready to eat. You won't miss anything about the original version. Especially when you remember that this version's a lot healthier. So give this a try. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free, healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.